Hello, my name is Bill, and welcome to Mind Your Crypto. Today we have Ethereum, and I wanted to share some thoughts. Before we continue, do not forget to join our monthly subscription, Patreon, slash Mind Your Crypto. You will get easy profits, trading 200 altcoins, a manual system with over 90% win ratio, personal guidance, educational videos, and many other benefits. Let's go right now to Ethereum. So what I wanted to share about Ethereum, right? Because eventually you can see Ethereum pumped every nice plus 20% followed by another plus 4%. In general, Ethereum against Bitcoin chart seems good. However, I want to share something that many people forget or actually they think that we are exactly almost, it is exactly actually almost solved. But anyway, for Ethereum against the chart, you will see that we are having something like this, right? Okay, a triangle in which we broke above. Okay, right here, I'm going to remove all the EMAs and the moving averages. And you can see now, you can see it better. Okay, so this is right here a breakout. But we all know, or if you do not know, then this is a fact that when you have a breakout, it is not necessary that this is a real breakout, right? It could be a fake out. And we go to retest the bottom trend line. Now, if this was a neutral triangle, then we have multiple chances into um, being the, the, the closing above and the breaking should be real, okay? And we shouldn't have a fake out. However, if this triangle right here turns out as a very pennant formation because it is after a downtrend, okay, so you can see the long very pennant formation in the weekly scale, then Ethereum is going very, very likely, very, very soon enough to retest the top trend line. And to be honest with you, the top trend line should be something like this, then we could be going down to 1386 and lower. So this could mean that we are going to see if Ethereum is strong enough to hold it, but at the same time, we are going to have a minus 10%, at least 10% correction. So you should be a little bit careful. Right here for Ethereum, what do we have is, if this is a fake out out of a Paris pennant, then for sure Ethereum is going not only to retest the top trend line, but the bottom trend line as well, and then it is going down. Right? So this should be catastrophic for Ethereum. However, if this is a neutral triangle, what we are going to do, it is simply we are going to have a healthy correction to the downside and then a potential boom to this, uh, actually to this retest of the top trend line. Okay, so we are retesting the top trend line and then what we are going to do, it is simply to move even even higher to have a nice nice pump let's see some very very important targets i'm going to draw the fib from the bottom to the top usually when we do not go above the 1.236 fibonacci retracement which is the 1669 then we are finding a little bit of rejection right now we need to focus on this support level the 1479 it is very crucial for Ethereum to just go sideways between these targets. If you see Ethereum going sideways between those targets, there is a very huge chance that this is a very nice cup and handle pattern. I'm going to remove the bottom and the top trend line right here. You can see that this could be the case of a cup and handle pattern going sideways and then booming even, even higher. So everything we discussed before, it is going to fail. And potentially, we are going to see something very bullish out of Ethereum. However, losing this line right here, it means that we are getting rejected two times, having a double top pattern right here, and eventually going further down, retesting the lows of the 1338 the line, top trend line retest that we talked about, right? And this is the most crucial part right here. If we go down right there, then we do not know if Ethereum is going to boom 
all in and we are going to see a crazy pump or eventually we might be going further down. The best part about it is Bitcoin. Bitcoin right now for me personally it is going to correct more. Okay, so we are going to see a correction for Ethereum as well. The point right here though with the Bitcoin is that Bitcoin for me it has entered into a bull cycle. And right now we are going steadily and slowly inside the 2023 to have a crazy pump. Bull cycle has started almost one year after. Monday 21 November, it was the same back on 2017 to 2018. Okay, where we saw almost one year after from 2018 to 2019, the bottom of the bearish cycle, or it was 2018. Right here, it was 2018. I'm sorry about that. 2017 was the top, 2018 was the bottom. But almost one year after, from 11 December towards 10 December 2018, right? So you can see that we are having the same low. And I think that because of that, Ethereum is going probably very likely to pump more. But eventually for now, we need to be careful retesting some support levels. And please be careful because this could be a burst pendant that we all ignore about it. And we might be going after a fake out to the top a little bit further down, not a little bit, actually hugely further down. Do not forget to join our monthly subscription. Now is the time, Patreon slash Mind Your Crypto. Thank you and see you soon. We work with professionalism. Thank you and bye.